They may drive us all crazy, but let's face it, referees have a hard job. They have to watch some of the biggest and fastest athletes on earth like Hawks, scrutinizing their every move to see when and if they violate basketball's complex list of subtle rules. One of the most serious rules referees have to enforce is judging whether or not a player needs to be ejected from the game. This is no small thing. Players are never happy to be ejected, and their reactions can range from calm to dangerous. The ways players get themselves ejected in the first place can also vary dramatically. Here are some of NBA ejection moments that really stand out above the rest. Police Escort One of the dangers surrounding ejections is that if you get one player who's heated, it can spread like wildfire to other players, coaches, and fans in the arena. This happened during the Toronto Raptors game in 2018 after officials ejected DeMar DeRozan. The Raptors had come close to overtaking the Thunder in the final minute of play, but not quite close enough. With less than 10 seconds to go and the Thunder up 5, frustration began to boil over in Toronto. After DeRozan was ejected, Ibaka was also ejected, but the officials weren't done. Before play had resumed, they threw out a third Raptors member, head coach Dwayne Casey. The entire arena lost its mind after this. The environment was so hostile that referees had to be escorted by several police officers. Mind. While we're on the subject of the rappers, here's another ejection that is one of the weirdest in recent memory. Amir Johnson decided to do something no one in the city of Toronto could have expected. Watch what he does after a Trailblazers free throw. He gets a hold of the ball from David, and David's trying to get it back, and then Johnson, for whatever reason, kind of loses his cool here. Not only was this completely mysterious, it was apparently grounds for ejection, and fast. Referee David Jones wasted no time in throwing Johnson out of the game. From the referee's perspective, it makes some sense. It wasn't clear what Johnson was doing, but it was definitely against the rules, and probably seemed like a taunt of some kind. But from Amir Johnson's perspective, this basically makes no sense at all. Why was he trying to grab the ball? Did he think that was the second free throw and not the first? Why did Johnson continue to try and wrestle the ball from the ref's hands, even when it became clear the ref didn't want to give it to him? This clip is at least six or seven years old, so if nobody has figured it out yet, we probably never will. DeMarcus Cousins With certain players, you just can't talk about one moment when it comes to ejections. While there are some NBA players who get ejected maybe once, if ever, during their whole career, there are others who get ejected constantly. One of those players is DeMarcus Cousins, who has now spent a decade in the NBA. In the 10 years Cousins has played, he has either led the league in technical fouls or been near the top of the list. With so many technical fouls and ejections, Cousins has gotten downright creative. In 2019, Cousins got teed up for tossing the shoe into the crowd. He did it to try and avoid players getting hurt as it had fallen off in the middle of a play. That excuse didn't make much of an impression on the officials though. Back when he was with the Pelicans, Cousins also managed to get ejected alongside his future teammate Kevin Durant with words alone. Even further back, on the Sacramento Kings, Cousins got ejected during the final moments of a close game after spitting his mouthpiece out at the Trailblazers bench. This, like many other cases with Cousins, became somewhat of a unique moment. Officials weren't really sure if he did it on purpose or not. He could have just been yelling and spit it out on accident. The Blazers head coach Terry Stotts seemed convinced it was deliberate, but surprisingly, the officials changed their minds. They let Cousins back into the game after tossing them. Cousins made a free throw, and the Kings ended up winning in crunch time. As recently as January 2021, Cousins was ejected again for the 16th time in his career. Now playing for the Houston Rockets, Cousins got into a scuffle with Willie Colley Stein under the basket. This produced technical foul number one. Mere minutes later, Cousins loudly protested after a layup in which he thought he was fouled. That produced technical foul number two, goodbye Boogie. It's been widely speculated that if Cousins can stay healthy, he might actually have a shot at becoming the GOAT of NBA ejections, but that's a throne he would have to steal from Rasheed Wallace. Rasheed Wallace. When it comes to ejections, nobody comes close to Sheed. While Demarcus Cousins is currently the runner-up for most career ejections, He's only a little over halfway to tie in the all-time leader. Rasheed Wallace was rejected an astonishing 29 times during his career. In fact, it was such a problem that it became a major controversy in sports at the time. Many, including Rasheed himself, felt that officials were being biased towards him. This heavy accusation made his ejections heavier as well, as more and more people started paying attention to it. Theories swirl to this day, but one thing is for sure, 
Wallace got ejected a lot. And as you might expect, he often managed to do it in spectacular fashion. Wallace was ejected from a playoff game against the Lakers simply for staring at a particularly sensitive referee. Whack! Get out! Some years later, he was ejected for throwing a towel into the stands. As usual, nobody knows for sure what started this. It was probably a fan heckling him, but it's really only a guess. Fun fact, Rashid Wallace also coined the phrase, ball don't lie. Not only did he coin the phrase, he used it constantly, or really, screamed it. It makes sense this saying would come from a player who felt like referees were always targeting him with dishonest calls, but unfortunately for Sheed, it gave the refs even more opportunities to tee him up and sometimes eject him. Like in 2012, during the end of his career, when Rashid got thrown out of a Knicks game for, well, watch what happens. Dragic misses the technical, and a technical foul on Rasheed Wallace, he's gone. Watching the replay, it's hard to believe that Sheed was really surprised he got called for a foul. Then again, it's hard to believe that he would get ejected just for yelling his catchphrase. This marked Rasheed Wallace's 29th and final career ejection. It capped off a legacy that may never be beaten. DeMarcus Cousins still has a good number of years to try. Let's look at some other ejections from well-known players around the league. Ejected for spanking. Here's an unusual one. Back in the late 2000s, when Grant Hill was on the Phoenix Suns, he got ejected along with Reggie Evans of the Toronto Raptors for, I mean, maybe just watch for yourself. He got the call right, and they slapped each other on the butt. <laughs> it was a, it was a, it was a, If there's a rule this was in violation of, nobody knows for sure what it is. Whatever the reason, the ejection made for a very unique moment that'll probably never repeat itself. If you think that ejection was on call for, check out this next one. Ejected for praising officials. In 2013, Larry Sanders of the Milwaukee Bucks was somehow ejected for giving a thumbs up to the referees. It didn't take a genius to figure out that Sanders was being sarcastic, but to even issue a foul at all, let alone an ejection, seems harsh for this harmless gesture. It also raises a question that is never ending in officiating. How much can you judge the attitudes of players and punish them for it? Clear answers don't exist, but there are definitely clear cases where it seems like the refs judge too hard. This was definitely one of them. However, in the refs' defense, there are plenty more cases where the need of an ejection is super obvious. Just watch this next example. Doc Rivers explodes. Of course, coaches can get ejected too, some more than others. Coaches like players usually get ejected after losing their temper. They might use just a little too much profanity or maybe even step too far outside their restricted area. Or they might even throw something or come after the official. Or they might do all of those things all at once. If you want to see an explosive coach ejection, watch Doc Rivers when his Clippers are down in overtime against the Nets. Doc Rivers extending out to question the call from Lauren Holtkamp. And now Rivers is irate, but he might get tossed. Oh, that's it. Doc is done. Rivers wandered way, way beyond the restricted area. Not only that, but he did so in order to diss the referee. This produced one technical and then in a familiar snowball fashion, that produced a second. Both players and coaches are at their most dangerous once they've already been ejected and they know the whole thing is a wash. Rivers has to be restrained by several Clippers players and like announcer Ian Eagle pointed out, he needed extra help. Rivers actually gave high fives to several taunting Brooklyn fans on his way out, which is hilarious. Popovich tells it like it is. Another coach famous for letting officials know exactly how he feels is Greg Popovich. Popovich is widely considered one of the greatest coaches of all time, but he's had his fair share of ejections and heated exchanges. Pop once got ejected from a game in Denver after just one minute and three seconds. On another occasion in Denver, he got ejected for yelling this. Maybe it's the attitude or something. More recently, Popovich helped make history by getting ejected. In December 2020, he was once again ejected from the game after he thought DeMar DeRozan had been fouled. In getting himself tossed, Popovich made way for assistant coach Becky Hammond to take over. This was the first time in NBA history that a woman would serve as head coach. While this was probably not Popovich's plan, it ended being a historic moment in basketball history. Let's take a look at some more recent ejections. Russell Westbrook gets insta-tossed. 
It takes some effort to get thrown out of the game, and it's designed to be that way. Technical fouls have to occur more than once, and as you may have noticed, more often than not, players and coaches get ejected in the final minutes of games. However, that wasn't the case for Russell Westbrook during the game against Atlanta this year. He was thrown out in the fourth quarter, but in the beginning of the fourth quarter, during a fairly normal looking play. Westbrook definitely shoved Rajon Rondo and deserved to be called for a foul, but his swift ejection surprised everyone in DC. Guess who? Boogie Cousins did it again this year after swiping LeBron James. As ejections go, this was fairly calm. Officials reviewed the footage, decided it was flagrant too, and told Cousins to hit the showers. What was dramatic was LeBron. Even with the footage being reviewed, fans in Houston still felt like this was a huge flop. LeBron James is notorious for flopping, and it's even possible that flopping was first made illegal in the NBA because of him. You can learn more about LeBron's flopping in our video titled Every NBA Star's Most Embarrassing Play. Draymond Green If we're talking about ejections, Draymond has to enter into the conversation somewhere. In addition to the numerous other technical fouls and ejections that Green had accrued throughout his career, this very year, he got ejected during a home game against the New York Knicks. This isn't the first time we've seen a player get ejected for less than obvious reasons. It could be argued that Draymond, at this point, is a target of extra attention from refs, similar to the attention Rasheed Wallace used to get. Whatever Green did or said, he clearly didn't agree with the refs. He never does, but it was enough for officials to throw him out. The Warriors lost this game, and Green's absence was definitely a factor in that loss. Throwing the ball Throwing things during the game is like casting a magic spell. It transports you to the locker room. Whether it's towels, or your shoe, or your mouth guard, or the ball. This year, the Pistons' Josh Jackson got ejected after he committed a foul and then threw the ball at the ref. On the face of it, this sounds pretty straightforward, but watching the replay, you can see that this throw was actually a perfect bounce pass. A lawyer could easily argue there was nothing wrong with this at all. Unfortunately for Jackson, no lawyers were present and the ref threw him out of the game. A really, really big fight. Last season, Joel Embiid and Carl Anthony Towns both got ejected after descending into an all-out brawl. Both men are 7 feet tall and close to 300 pounds. This was probably terrifying for anyone standing nearby, especially when both players fell to the ground in a tornado of arms and legs. On his way out, Embiid rallied the home crowd, but he probably didn't need to. Philly was already up 20 and the score was never close the rest of the game. It's not super clear why this fight broke out to begin with or who started it, but many people felt it could be the start of the league's next great beef. This season, Embiid is on top of the world, something he might even run away with the MVP trophy. 